Hey everybody, it's Cheryl Crow, and thank you so much for submitting your questions. I can't wait to answer them, and I want to send a great big thank you out to Cody Allen for having me. All right, let's get to the first question, and this one comes in from Chelsea from Appleton, uh, Wisconsin. What song from the new album are you most excited to start playing live? Well, Chelsea, we've been playing actually four or five songs each night live, and it's been really encouraging because people have reacted wonderfully to them. My favorite song to perform live is either Give It To Me, which is like this big kind of 60s country ballad uh, sounding song, or um, Waterproof Mascara, which is the first song I wrote for this record. Wrote it with Brad Paisley and Chris Dubois, and um, it's really a throwback to the Bill Billy Sherrill, kind of Tammy Wynette sounding country, and I love playing it, and um, I've had a great reaction to that. So thank you, Chelsea. Uh, this one comes in from Michael from Oakhurst, New Jersey. You have been involved in so many different projects from acting to writing... That's a little bit of a stretch when you say acting, but yeah. Acting to writing songs for talk shows. What has been your favorite or most memorable project thus far? <sighs> That's hard. Um, I have really, I've really been so lucky. I've gotten to perform with so many people that I love. I've gotten to do a lot of different things from playing at the Kennedy Center to playing with the Rolling Stones um, during a pay-per-view uh, in Florida for 75,000 people. Um, I've gotten to uh, perform with Willie Nelson on Crossroads. Um, I've done actually done uh, the Crossroads concert with Eric Clapton and a lot of other artists. And um, It's hard to pick a favorite, but I've just recently finished a um, Broadway musical for the, the very um, beloved movie Diner, which came out, I think, in the 80s. And um, I wrote the music for the Barry Levinson production, and that will hopefully be up and running next year. And I think so far that's been my favorite project. Connor from Las Vegas. What song do you think your fans connect to the most? Um, gosh, Connor, that's a hard one. I think people probably remember right where they were when they heard All I Wanna Do. So when we play that, people immediately know, uh, they know that song from the intro and um, sing along. But I, I actually think that if it makes you happy, they sing the chorus louder than I could ever dream about singing, singing it. So um, that's probably probably the biggest one. I'm Allison from Aurora, Colorado. What is the best and worst thing about being on tour? Um, Allison, the best thing actually, if you were to ask me 10 years ago what the best thing was, um, uh, I would have said I could sleep late, I could hang out with my friends till you know the wee hours on the bus. Um, all that's changed. Um, I have two little boys now and they um, are three and six and they've been out on the road with me really for the last six years since um, since Wyatt came along. So everything's changed now. The best thing about it is is I get to play music every night with people I love and I get to have a relationship with the audience and all the things that are great about playing music. And then the worst thing about it really is just being tired. You know, we get up in the morning, we um, find uh, the kid thing to do in that particular town, whether it's a water park or a a uh, kids museum or a zoo, we do that. We wear ourselves out and then I take my kids in and then I go to work. So I'm pretty much beat all the time. But it's still an okay life. I cannot complain. Um, this one comes from Mark, who is from Dallas, Texas. What is your favorite song to perform live? Well, that probably goes... Uh, my new favorite song uh, off the new record is probably Give It To Me or Waterproof Mascara. My old, uh, off, uh, out of my catalog, I'd say my favorite song to perform live is probably my favorite mistake. And don't ask me why, I just love, I love singing that song. I love the way it feels. It's kind of like a throwback to, um, you know, the kind of uh, R&B music that I grew up loving. Uh, Christine from Pompton Lakes, New Jersey. Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts? I'm embarrassed to think about how much money I've spent at Starbucks. Um, it's grotesque, but yeah, I'm Starbucks all the way. I've been known to have between three and four um, venti lattes a week with an extra shot, and sometimes like every day. It's gross. Meg from Tampa, Florida, what is your favorite season and why? Well, Meg, it's funny you should ask. I really love the weather that's happening now. Um, it's getting cool at night, it's cool in the morning. Uh, leaves haven't started to fall. Um, it's kind of in between summer and where all the leaves are gone. So um, I love this early fall. That's my favorite. Lex from Philadelphia. Philadelphia. What is your dream vacation? Oh gosh, my dream vacation, believe it or not, is um, 
waking up in my own bed with nothing to do, like for three, four days with nothing on my calendar. Um, not traveling because we travel so much. It's great to stay home and have a, have a staycation. Um, if I'm traveling, I actually like going down to Florida. I like going down to what they call the Redneck Riviera. Um, those are my people down there. I've been going to um, around Panama City, that whole stretch there, since I was like three years old. So um, I have a lot of great memories down there, and I, I love that area. George from, from Flagstaff, Arizona. What inspires you to write new songs? Um, well, George, I have kids now, obviously. Um, it's... It is difficult to um, be uh, spontaneous with inspiration. Like used to, I could get up in the morning with a cup of coffee and sit down and write. Or stay up late at night, like 10.30 or 11. Uh, if I'm not on stage, I am asleep by 9.30. I'm such a big dud. Um, so I kind of have to schedule in inspiration now. And I, I approach it more probably like a, like a job, which I don't think has actually hurt the quality of my work. Since I've lived in Nashville, I've written with a lot of different writers, which has been a great experience for me because um, it's not something I've, I've done a lot of. And I actually think that writing that way, where you actually schedule a work time with the objective of writing um, a beginning, a middle, and an end, um, has been really fruitful for me. So um, I'm approaching it like um, I would a job, and it's been, it's been really good. This record, I'm really pleased with. I feel like some of my best writing is on this record, and probably because of that. Um, so, uh, all right, that's um, Bella from Jackson, Mississippi. What is your favorite song from 2013 thus far? Wow, okay, well, um, I think one of the best songs I've ever heard is Mine Would Be You. Um, actually, a really good friend of mine is a co-writer on that, Jesse Alexander, but it's just an unbelievable song. Blake Shelton cut it, and as songs go, I think it's just a classic um, song. It's, it's just perfect, and I wish I would have written it. Miriam from Greensboro, North Carolina. We were just over there, Miriam. What is your favorite sport to watch? Um, I love watching tennis. I'm a big tennis, um, tennis geek. Since I was little, we always had tennis on in the house. My grandfather loved it, my dad loved it, and so I've always kept up with it. I love playing it. Um, I like watching baseball, but you know, around the fifth, sixth inning, unless it's a really exciting game, I'm kind of like, what else is on? So, um, used to love football, but, um, yeah, I'm pretty much, and, but I love the Olympics. I'm all about the Olympics. I will sit in bed and totally cry in between the sports when they show the vignettes. I'm that person. Allie from, Allen, from Avondale, Arizona. Do you miss being a teacher? Allie, I have dreams sometimes where I'm teaching school and I wake up just like in a pool of sweat, like, oh my God, am I gonna have to go back to school teaching? Although I loved it and um, it was great and I think that being a school teacher is um, the most rewarding job there is. Um, I don't want to go back to teaching school. All that to, to, all that to say, I loved being a teacher, but yeah, no, I don't miss it that much. But anyway, hope I haven't hurt anybody's feelings with that one. Maddie from St. Mary's, Pennsylvania. What is your favorite city to visit? I, um, I love Chicago. I'm a Midwesterner, um, and I love, uh, with the exception of the winter months, I just love the feel of Chicago. There's just something for everybody there. I love taking my kids to the museums. You can walk to the beach. There's a zoo, a free zoo right in the middle of the city. I love the shopping. I love the music that comes out of Chicago. Um, that's my favorite city. Love it. I love New York too, but Chicago suits me. Abby from San Jose, California. What is your favorite song to cover? Oh my gosh. Um, I'm going to completely embarrass myself and say we used to play Black Betty. And I played bass on it, and it was just a blast. Um, it's just a ridiculous song. It's total classic rock, but um, loved playing that song. Um, I loved singing Do Right Woman, Dan Penn song. Um, who, I mean, several people have recorded it from um, uh, Aretha to, uh, I mean, it's just a classic song, and I, I love playing that song, too. Kath from Charleston, South Carolina. How is it performing with Michael Jackson? Um, Kath, you and I need to sit down for like three hours because um, it's hard to answer that in just like a little summary. Um, but I'll give you just like a, a, a taste of what it was like. Um, I didn't own a passport. I landed the audition by crashing it. Um, uh, a month later, I was in front of 75,000 people uh, in Tokyo. 
Um, I literally had never been out of, I mean, I've been in LA for six months. Um, but for the, for the most part, I've been in Missouri my whole life. So everything about that tour was, was educational for me because um, I was standing there watching the, probably the biggest performer that ever lived and watching him and his divinity every night. Just that thing that, that made him so uh, stand apart from everybody else. But also being in every country, like four months in Australia, four months in, in Japan, uh, six months in Europe, just everywhere, all over the United States, South America. It was, it was an amazing experience, but then to work with him was, um, I mean, it was just, it was just brilliant, a brilliant experience and um, really loved him. He was definitely special um, for a reason and um, to witness that every night was something I wouldn't trade for anything. Rachel from Marietta, Georgia. What is your favorite movie of all time? Oh gosh, Rachel. I love, um, I love movies. Probably in my top five would be, um, I love Badlands. It's just a Terrence Malick film. I love, um, I love Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I know I'm a total, total geek, but I love that movie. Um, Gone with the Wind, classic movie. Um, you know, it seemed like we watched that every Thanksgiving for most of my life. Um, love Sophie's Choice, just because I think it was just like an, an amazingly, brilliantly, brilliantly written movie. The acting in it, the story, the history. Um, just amazing movie. Um, what else? Gosh, I could go on and on. There's a movie called Water, which I recommend everybody see. It's subtitled, but it's um, an amazing, amazing movie, and it gives you sort of a, an insight into the culture of um, of the Middle East. Okay, Heidi from Downing Downingtown, Pennsylvania. A lot of Pennsylvania questions. Do you have any pets, Heidi? Um, you should come visit my house. Um, I'm like Dr. Doolittle over here. We have like, at any given time, we have like 30 animals. Um, we ha Right now we have 11 horses, but we've had up to 17. We have two longhorn cows out in the front pasture that are basically lawn art. Um, we've had up to eight chickens. Right now they're out at our old farm and we haven't moved them into the city. We're generally, I mean, basically like the Beverly Hillbillies over here. Um, barn cats, three dogs, sometimes up to six dogs. We have um, we've had pet frogs. We're about to get, my son is obsessed with getting a pet snake and he can have one when he's not living here anymore, but not while I'm here. Um, Carl from Virginia Beach, Vir uh, Virginia. What has been your favorite experience thus far? Oh my God. Oh my God. My favorite experience. Well, bringing my two boys home. I mean, there's just, I can't, I don't even, I don't even, I'm like speechless when I talk about it. I was there when my first son was born, got to cut the umbilical cord. My second son, I, I, um, he came home 24 hours after he was born and it's just a complete and total um, game changer. And I'm sure it's the same for anybody who has a child um, um, naturally adopting has got to be the same way where you you just are holding this baby and you can't believe the miracle of childbirth okay Shanna from Memphis Tennessee my mom is currently battling breast cancer what advice do you have for her and our family you're a huge inspiration thank you Shanna um, that was a game changer for me getting um, diagnosed I was a super healthy person and had a great outlook on life and then suddenly um, I was told I had a life-threatening illness. And the one thing that um, I would tell you, Shanna, is that when your mom or when you're, when anyone that you're close to gets diagnosed, everybody gets diagnosed. Your family's diagnosed. You're, it, it just changes everything. It changes everyone's perspective. When I was diagnosed, my family, uh, it changed everything with my family. Um, it changed the way we looked at everything, the way we approached our lives. It changed the, the way my band looked at work. It, it just um, is definitely... A sobering moment and the thing that I would tell your mom is that um, for me it was important to keep my life as normal as possible because there is an adrenal factor in there where those moments in the middle of the night when you realize oh my gosh there is something foreign in my body that I have no control over um, you're you you find yourself just navigating through life almost out of body and so I would do things that were just totally normal like I would still go out and jog I would still ride my horse um, and I would allow myself to take naps. The other thing is I would, I would just encourage her to 
kind of observe the lesson that goes along with it. Because for me, um, the lesson was learning how to say no and learning how to put myself at the top of the list. And I'm sure she's doing everything that her doctors are telling her. And um, but I always recommend people get a second opinion and you know gird yourself with nutrition and um, you know investigate all of your options as far as how to fortify your immune system. Um, and I, I would just say, you know, just um, be present every moment and um, tell people what you need. Shanna, we are thinking about you. I in particular am thinking about you and we'll pray for you. And um, I've really enjoyed speaking with you guys today. And I want to thank Cody Allen again for allowing me, guys, uh, allowing me to talk to you guys and answer your questions. And um, I appreciate your writing me. All right, take care and I hope you like the new record.